Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see multi-range DC voltmeter, shunt type and series type. In the previous lecture, we have seen the basic DC voltmeter, how it is constructed. That means how a basic TR zone wall movement can be converted into a voltmeter. How it is converted into a voltmeter by connecting a multiplier resistor in series with the meter. Just a meter in series with a resistor, this combination is known as voltmeter that is used to measure the unknown voltage but this a single combination is used to measure only single unknown voltage so if you want to go for multi range you have to use more number of multiplier resistors how to connect the multiplier resistors is the concept here if you are connecting all of them in parallel then that comes under shunt type if you are connecting all of them in series that comes under series type so based on the two different uh, uh, types are there <laughs> So first one, a DC voltmeter can be convert can be converted into a multi-range voltmeter by connecting a number of resistors. So here the number of resistors, each resistor is responsible for one range, are most commonly known as multipliers, multiplier resistor in series with the meter moment. A practical multi-range DC voltmeter here it is shown, which is a series connection which is a series connection where all the resistors are connected in series and this set of series connection is in series with the meter because as I said in the case of a meter the original nature or behavior of the multi range uh, original nature of the voltmeter should not violate what is the original uh, behavior of the voltmeter a DC a D arsenal meter should be in series with the multiplier resistor here a group of multiplier resistors are used and again this group comes in series with the meter. <laughs> okay, so here it is the resistor R4. Suppose when switch is connected to this position V4, what about the status of R1, R2, R3 in the circuit? They are eliminated from the circuit. Hope you understand. When the switch is connected to this position V4, these three resistors R1, R2, R3 are open circuited. So open circuited means whether even if they are in the circuit, there is no use because they are open circuited. So simply we can discard those two, the, those three resistors. So in that case, only R4 is there in the circuit in series with the meter. So that simply acts like a normal conventional DC voltmeter with a range V4. When switch is connected to V3, when switch is connected to V3, R3 and R4 are in the circuit, whereas R1 and R2 are gone out of the circuit because they are open circuited. Okay, and when switch is connected to this V2, only R1 resistor will go out of the circuit, whereas R2, R3, R4 are in the circuit and when switch is connected to this position v1 what happens all the resistors are there in the circuit and all these resistors are again in series with the meter no resistor will go out of the circuit because we are at the end we are at the end no resistor is there out of this one all the resistors are in series now okay here one point we should remember the res the voltage v4 the voltage V4, we have to select this voltage as very, very less compared to V1. Okay. Suppose I have given four different ranges like 10 volts, 20 volts, 50 volts and 100 volts. Remember this point is very, very, very important. These are the four different ranges given to you. Suppose in hurry when you are asked to when you are asked with a problem to calculate the multiplier resistors for four different uh, voltage ranges then in hurry you may do like this as v1 it is as v2 it is v3 and it is v4 that is wrong where is v1 you have to see what is the where is the position of v1 where is v1 here it is the position of v1 Okay, where is V4? Here it is the position of V4. If you choose V1 as less voltage and V4 as more voltage, that is wrong because 
if the voltage at this particular point is very high the multiplier resistor connected here is not capable to this particular voltage because the current limiting capacity is not sufficient because of this resistor R4 okay then if we are having a more voltage at V4 position then simply meter damages always in any situation we need to protect the meter okay so the voltage we have to choose at V4 as very very less and thereby V3 and thereby V2 and thereby V1 V1 should be the maximum voltage among the given ranges and next highest value should be given to V2 next highest value should be given to V3 and the least value should be given to V4 okay always we have to keep this mind keep this in mind coming to the other type of multi range dc voltmeter which is nothing but a parallel type in this parallel type we no need to follow any of the rule what we have seen in the case of a series type because at a time only one resistor acts in the circuit suppose when switch is connected to suppose when switch is connected to this position v1 what happens what about the resistors r2 r3 and r4 they are eliminated from the circuit only r1 is there in the circuit suppose when switch is connected to v2 what happens only r2 is there in the circuit and remaining are eliminated from the circuit when switch is connected to v3 only r3 is there and when switch is connected to v4 only r4 is there so at a time only one resistor is there in the circuit and remaining resistors are gone out of the circuit so every time only one resistor is acting means no problem with this type of network we can choose here it may be a 10 volts here it may be 100 volts or here it may be 100 volts here it may be 10 volts you can select any you can select either top to bottom or bottom to top in any range the corresponding resistor value we can find out that doesn't that doesn't create any problem but in the case of series type voltmeter definitely you should be very careful to select the voltage ranges okay always right to left give the values right to to left right side least value left side maximum value because when you are going to increase the number of resistors the circuit ha is having more capability with the highest voltage okay let us do the problem now what i what is my intention is if you do this problem in both shunt and series type then you can easily understand what is the difference between shunt type and series type now you have given with a problem very very simple let us do it in a simple way what are the given values by seeing the circuit diagram every time we are having the same a D basic dr sonval meter can be converted into a, a multi range dc voltmeter here the specifications are given internal current meter current is 2 milliamperes and resistance rm is equal to 50 ohms rm is equal to 50 ohms okay and ranges are given here so let us take v1 is equal to 10 volts v2 is equal to 50 volts v3 is equal to 100 volts and v4 is equal to 250 volts okay in the first case we are taking shunt type where there are no rules first case we are taking shunt type see this is the circuit diagram of the shunt type okay what is the formula case one case one means when switch is connected to v1 switch is connected to v1 what is the formula of rs1 is equal to what is the formula of uh, multiplier resistor in the conventional dc voltmeter v by im minus rm v by im minus rm what is v v means here it is v1 so 10 by 2 milliampere minus rm is nothing but 50 ohms so if you simplify this what you will get you will get simply around 4.95 ohms 4.95 ohms this is the first resistor value for 
4.95 kilo ohms not ohms kilo ohms okay now coming to the case 2 when switch is connected to v2 and rs2 is equal to again v2 by im minus rm that is equal to you will get 24.95 kilo ohms you can easily do no need to do this step by step you can easily calculate the values and case 3 s is connected to v3 and in the situation rs3 is equal to v3 by im minus rm that is equal to you will get it as 49.95 kilo ohms and case 4 when switch is connected to V4, when switch is connected to V4, RS4 is equal to V4 by IM minus RM. That is equal to, you will get around uh, 124.95 kilo ohms. Now, do the same problem for series type. <laughs> See, how to calculate the same problem in series type? <coughs> series type. Case 1. I already told you what should be the value of V4 now? What should be the value of V1? It should be 10 volts. Here it should be. What is the second range? <coughs> 10, 50, 100. 10. It is 50 volts. It is 100 volts, it is V2, it is V3 and this one, V3 only, it is V2, okay 100 and it is 250 volts. You have to select in this range. Okay, now when switch is connected to V4, means starting value, switch is connected to V4, RS4, R4 is equal to same only one range is there so v4 by im minus rm you will get the same value like uh, 4.95 kilo ohms <coughs> take case 2 when switch is connected to v3 then r3 how to calculate how to calculate r3 okay now see here, when switch is connected to V3, how many resistors are there in the circuit? This resistor and this resistor means R3 and R4 are there in the circuit. Okay, whereas R1 and R2 are out of the circuit. What is the total voltage of the circuit? Listen carefully, total voltage of the circuit is V3 only because at that time we are applying the V3 and total current Total current of the circuit is IM. Total current always IM because it is series connection. What is total resistance? Total resistance, let it be RT. Total resistance RT is equal to R3 plus R4 plus RM. Total resistance RT is equal to R3 plus R4 plus Rm. We can calculate the total resistance using the total voltage and total current. V3 by Im. You can have a value here. Okay. Using this value, you can substitute that Rt in this equation. Thereby, you can get the value R3. <coughs> here, in this case, you will get R3 as 20 kilo ohms. If you solve this equation, you will get 20 kilo ohms. And similarly, for case 3, when S is, where S is connected to V2, and you need to calculate R2. So, in this situation, what is the total resistance? What is the total resistance? R1 is only going out of the circuit, whereas remaining all resistors are there. R2 plus, R3 plus, plus R4 plus Rm. You can calculate Rt is equal to 
V2 by IM. Okay. So if you simplify this, if you simplify this, you will get some RT value. If you substitute that RT in the above equation, in this equation, you will get R2 value. R2 you will get it as 25 kilo ohms. <laughs> Next. Case 4, where switch is connected to V3. Where switch is connected to V3. We need to calculate what is the value of R1. Here in this case, no resistance will go out of the circuit. So all the resistors are there. So what is the total resistance? R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus Rm. Okay. And but RT is equal to, we can calculate RT as V1 by Im. So from this, we can calculate RT and thereby substituting in this equation, you will get what is R1. R1 is equal to, in this case, you will get 75 kilo ohms. <laughs> One point I want to say, okay, now you have done the calculation in shunt type method and as well as series type method. I want to give you a idea here. One magic is there. Uh, take the values what you have got in the case of shunt and take the value what you have got in the case of series. Okay. See here. R1 is equal to in the case of shunt. R1 is equal to 4.95 kilo ohms. R2 is equal to, it is 24.95 kilo ohms. R3 is equal to, uh, how much? 49.95 kilo ohms. Whereas R4 is equal to 124.95 kilo ohms. So these are the values you have got in the case of shunt type. In the case of series type, R1 is equal to same value because the circuit is same in both the cases and R2 is equal to it is 20 kilo ohms whereas R3 is equal to it is uh, 25 kilo ohms and R4 is equal to it will be 75 kilo ohms. <coughs> what do you mean by series? One resistor is cascaded with the other resistor. What do you mean by shunt? One resistor is in no way related to other resistor. At a time, only one resistor is acting. So coming to the first case, both the resistor values are same because a single resistor is acting in both the cases. Coming to the second case, here in the shunt type, only one resistor is acting at a time. Only one resistor is acting here. But in the series type, in the first case, only one resistor. But in the second case, there are two resistors acting. Okay, what are the two resistors R1 and R2? So if you add these two values, it should be equal to the value which is which is uh, we have got in the case of shunt. See 20 plus 4.9 that is 24.95. Okay, and similarly in the case of R3 calculation, it is 49.95. But if you add R3 R2, R1 in the series, you will have this R25 plus 20 plus 4.9, it is totally 49.95. That means one resistance in the shunt is equal to three resistors in the series. And similarly, in the fourth case, one resistor is equal to four resistors in the series type to protect the meter. So at a time, only one resistor is acting in the case of shunt means that shunt resistance must have a capability to protect the meter which is equal to the addition of all the resistors in the series type. Okay. Once go back and see the calculation part and check whether my point is correct or not. Okay. We take any type of problem. Definitely you will get this concept. Addition of individual resistors in series you will get as a single resistor in the shunt. Take any type of problem. Definitely you will get this concept. Okay. Thank you.